There's three key things you need to win elections. You got to have a good political environment. Democrats are helping us out with that, right? Okay. You got to have a good, well-funded, uh, solid infrastructure. And that's what you all do. The third thing you have to have, uh, you have to have uh, outstanding candidates. And uh, whether, uh, whether you travel from one end of the state to the other or whether you travel from one end of the country to the other, uh, what people tell me and what, I can, and what I tell people every day is we have the best slate of candidates that the Republican Party has fielded in Ohio in better than a generation. The great thing about our country is our optimism and that optimism is born of experience, which is that we've always been able through our hard work, our innovation, uh, our ability to look beyond the horizon, to be able to create something for our kids and grandkids that's better than what we had. In this current climate, with Washington providing not incentives for growth, but disincentives, we're not going to be able to do that for the coming generations. And ultimately, that's what this Senate race is about. It's about how do we ensure that we send somebody to Washington who is going to focus like a laser on jobs and the economy and create opportunities for Ohio going forward so Ohio doesn't continue to fall behind. I'm encouraged by what I see around this state because Ohioans uh, are hardworking. Ohioans are entrepreneurial. They're innovative. Given the right tools, uh, we will succeed. You're all part of the team, and you're all part of the family, and uh, we really look forward to working with you over the next year, not just to have a victory in the Senate race again, uh, but to begin to turn things around in Washington and therefore help our great state. Thank you, and God bless you.